Good day everybody. Just trying to be at home and handy and now the issue is in my garage I have a fridge and a TV and they're both on the same circuit. A compressor or a motor can cause interference or noise and what it's doing is it's causing the TV to kick out for a couple of seconds every time my well in my case it's every time the compressor shuts off it can be when it's on it can be during the duration while it's on different things different compressors or motors will create different higher frequencies at different times but it's that higher frequency that's causing that so i found out that it wasn't my tv it was actually my streaming box and here's a cord for it that was actually causing it that was where the issue was. So what we need to do is remove that higher frequency, that unwanted noise from the box. So therefore the, say, delicate electronics are not affected by it. So what you wanna do is get a ferrite ring, a ferrite ring, ferrite bead, uh, there's a few names, but it's basically in comp uh, circling the wire with ferrite. So here's a ferrite ring. So what you want to do is if you put it as an example near the end, here's where your, your power or signal is coming in. Here's where it enters the device. If you put it here, it'll work a little bit, not greatly. It's more designed to be closer to where it's coming in. So I did that. When I did, it worked about half the time. So because this isn't made for it, it's just one that I had lying around. Uh, a longer one probably would have removed it just by clipping it on. So the trick now is if I go like this and I double loop it, basically causing it to go through it twice and clip it on. A little clip busted. So a little piece of tape, electrical tape would hold that on as long as it's enclosed like that that will stop the noise or the high frequency from coming. I did that uh, just a couple hours ago and perfect. Every time I tested it and turned the fridge on and off about 10, 12 times and not once did it do it. So it solved the problem. It's removing that noise. Uh, one thing you gotta watch, I'll put a link to some of these, but when you, uh, down below, but when you look, you gotta check the circumference of your wire and this, sorry, the diameter of your wire and the diameter of the ferrite ring, just to ensure that it fits. And it doesn't hurt to make it so it's a little bit larger, so worst case, if you had to, you can do a double loop. I wouldn't do any more than that. You don't want to create too much impedance or change too much, but one loop through, not an issue. A uh, good thing to check out if you're having some issues, it cleans up audio signals. Uh, do a quick uh, search on YouTube and you'll get a lot of information on it, but you can clean up a lot of noise, get remove that high frequency and really clean up a signal. So uh, some of the older cables used to come with ferrite rings right on them. That's what that is when you see that on your cables to protect the device at the end and to ensure that it's, it is receiving a nice clean signal as it was intended. So that is definitely the easiest way. In this scenario, having a fridge and a TV on the same circuit, if I wanted to, some uh, if it's easy, you can always reroute the power or run a cord or try and get uh, one of the devices on a separate circuit. But a simple way is to just order a bunch of these. It's a fairly cheap solution to a problem that can be quite annoying, actually. So there you go. I hope that helped. If it did, uh, throw me a favorite or a like. And uh, there you go. Hopefully it works for you.